My ultimate goal is to look like Jimin, my idol from BTS. I've spent about $150,000 to perfect my image. Yeah, uh, whoever your plastic surgeon was, you might want to go get a refund, bro. You look more like a Ken doll than you do <laughs> an Asian guy. Got that chop, got that stick, bitch, I'm Trapanese. Ramen noodles on my dick when I'm clapping cheeks. Yo, how's it going, broskies? It's your boy, Lofi, here. And you may or may not have heard of this dude. His name is Ollie London. Now, a couple years ago, Ollie London decided that they didn't like being just your average white man from uh england according to google why am i not surprised bro the british are always on some weird shit but yeah someone in my discord server link in description by the way said that i should cover this guy after i had made my other video on that transracial like tanning person so i started doing some digging i had seen memes of this guy around but never really looked into him that much and this dude's journey over like from covid to now has been absolutely insane apparently uh they were on a dr phil episode where they're like yeah i really want to be asian because i really like k-pop and anime bro they're they are the literal definition of the anime kid that took it too far. But yeah, they unironically wanted to be just like their K-pop idol, uh, Jimin or whatever. Okay, I honestly don't know too much about that. So they actually decided to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars literally changing their race with surgeries. And honestly, the rabbit hole on this guy is absolutely insane. So I figured we'd start at the beginning, go all the way back and look at the origins of our homeboy, Ollie London. I'm doing everything I can to look like Jimin to have his skin, to have his facial structure, to have everything. You know, they say imitation is the largest form of flattery, but honestly, this is just straight up creepy, dude. Honestly, if I was that guy who was trying to copy, I would just get a restraining order. Or like, since that guy's like really famous, couldn't they, I don't know, like copyright their face and be like, hey, yo, I'ma sue your ass. That face is mine now, bro. Pay me royalties. My ultimate goal is to look like Jimin, my idol from BTS. I spent about $150,000 to perfect my image. And ironically, I have never understood people that get plastic surgery to look like other people. I went to Vegas for a wedding back in like 2022 and I saw a bunch of like imitators of people. I actually saw a Michael Jackson one. I saw an Elvis one. I even saw somebody that was trying to look like Taylor Swift, dude. It was creepy. Like are these people so talentless that they have to literally copy every single aspect of someone else's personality, looks, literally every other aspect about them, man. Also, where did this guy get 150 bands from? Like how come all these people that do this type of stuff just somehow happen to have endless amounts of money to get surgery after surgery? Are they in like credit card debt? Are they taking out loans? If they have rich parents, bro, why do their parents keep giving them money for this stuff? Like if this was my kid, I would have cut them off from the trust fund a long time ago. Hey, my ears did not consent to hear that, bro. I, I, th I think I need to call my therapist, man. I've been, my ears have been assaulted. Why is there so much auto-tune over here sounding like Moby from <laughs> those like dudes who taught us grammar in elementary school? I have legit heard better auto-tune on a kid's bop album. This is so trash, man. When you look at Jimin. Is it just me or does this feel racist as fuck? Like that song sounds like it would be a parody that somebody would do on YouTube to make fun of K-pop, but this dude is actually trying, man. That's so sad. I unironically made better meme rap in high school when I was f***ing around with my friends, bro. How does this guy have hundreds of thousands of dollars to spend on all this, but all his music is still trash? You know Miles is unironically better, dude. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I do Kung Fu? His lips just look so luscious and kissable. Just on my lips alone, I get them injected every three weeks. Over the years, my lips would be $10,000. Every three weeks? Dude, no wonder his face looks like he just got attacked by a bear. Like, seriously, if you look at what dude looks like now, it actually looks like someone called in a drone strike on his face. Like, at what point do the plastic surgeons who do these types of things have to be like, hey, yo, I can't do this, man. You're literally gonna end up looking like an alien from another planet. People like him are how I know Hollywood has to be, like, super f***ed up because what person in their right mind would see someone doing this to themselves and be like, yeah... I'll help you out for money. My jawbone completely shaved down. I have my chin bone shaved, cut off, and reattached. I've got titanium screws and brackets to keep my chin in place. So you tell me that homeboy is basically like a cyborg at this point. His face is literally held together with duct tape and screws. You know, I really hope that this guy's pictures, videos, everything that he's done on the internet isn't what's left of humanity because like a thousand years from now, with somebody studying this shit, they're gonna be like, damn, humans used to be dumb as fuck. I had my eyes done, but now I wanna change that to make my eyes more almond shaped, just like Jimin. I also have my teeth 
cheap bone reduce. I've also been perfecting my nose. Man, Michael Jackson's influence has done irreparable damage on society. Also, what doctors are out here doing these surgeries? You're telling me that there was actually a doctor who specializes in making white people Asian? Like, how do you even become one of those doctors? You just go to doctor school and you're just like, you know what my passion is? I want to be a surgeon. Not for saving people. Not for removing bullets on the battlefield. I really, really want to give white people Asian eyes. My nose, I've actually had surgery five times. I've had so many procedures. I like, my whole face is numb, but I love it. It's such a great feeling. I can feel my face when I'm you know, I don't really feel like that's a good thing to be proud of. Like, yeah, I've had so many surgeries on my face that I can't feel anything. Nothing. Not a hug. Not the kiss of a loved one. I haven't felt the breeze on a cool summer's eve in not so long. But I look like Jimin, oh my god! My chin I can't even feel. I can just feel the metal inside my face. My cheeks I have no feeling at all. So when I smile it actually feels uncomfortable. So doing this it's 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 weird imagine not even being able to enjoy happiness like bro can't even look at a meme and laugh without being like ah, ah, ah. why can't i feel why does it hurt why why who am i what is going on what is life unironically this man's entire existence just seems really depressing when you think about it like what went wrong in his life who who didn't love him enough as a child i mean hey my dad's reboot card expired and i feel like i ended up okay i mean i just make like you know videos on the internet i mean clearly i'm so mentally stable if i'm like kissing my cardboard jimin or kissing one of my jimin pillows like i can't feel anything it's terrible bro i was just joking about all the anime stuff earlier but like this dude is actually a weeb he has body pillows not but seriously though it actually is really fucking weird to have a body pillow cut out of uh someone who's like a real human being unless it's danny devito okay danny devito is understandable that man is a god you see daddy danny is omnipotent he knows every single one of his worshipers you see i can't say the same thing for uh mr jimin over here okay oh yeah i sing k-pop song oh yeah but uh have you cured the blind have you healed the sick no danny has so that's why we should pray to Danny right now. Dear Danny DeVito, please let this video get a million views. I actually love being in recovery. I love lying in bed with bandages. I'm always at my happiest at that time. Yeah, Ollie London is probably actually mentally deranged. There's definitely a, more than a couple of screws loose up there. Because who looks at themselves in the mirror looking like a puffer fish and is like, yeah, yeah, this is my peak. To say that this guy is delusional is probably an understatement. And then, then after about two months or something, that, you know, great feeling of, wow, I love my new face kind of wears off. And then I'm always thinking, about the next thing. Bro, what next thing? How much further can you go? You already got the Jimin body pillow, the Jimin cutout. You literally look like the most wannabe Asian dude ever. Every weeb who goes to Japan wish they had the money to do what you're doing right now. To every legitimate weebatard out there, you are literally their god, bro. You're living the dream. At what point is enough enough? Or are you living by RJ from over the hedge rules where enough is never enough, man? Because that's what it's looking like right now. If I have the eyebrow lift, it'll make my face very tight so I won't have any expression and I'll just look you know plastic fantastic all right so i'm confused is he trying to look like a barbie doll or is he actually trying to become an asian dude i'm so confused right now he's over here talking about plastic fantastic barbie elastic but then also talking about how he quite literally wants to suck jimin's car honestly i don't even think he knows what he wants I, I think he's just doing stuff to do stuff you see i feel like the wrong people are rich the wrong people have money man i, I don't even want to be mega rich i just want to be able to afford to go to the grocery store and like eat I, I just want to have enough money to eat every day. And this dude over here spending hundreds of thousands of bands on facial surgeries to look like a freaking doll. I need to change everything until I'm identical. Honestly, I'd say you're on the right track, but maybe instead of doing all this, you should, I don't know, try going to some therapy. Look, my guy said that for every 10 people I bring in, I get a free session, so just, just hit me up, bro. You know, I got Twitch, Twitter, Discord, uh, Instagram, you know, all, all the links in the description, which all of you guys should definitely also follow. Well, Lee has undergone 15 surgeries in six years to change his looks. Now, something that he was bullied for growing up. Bro, when rich people get bullied, they get to go get plastic surgery. When poor people get bullied, it's just, uh, deal with it, kill yourself, listen and appears the veil on repeat. Again, my point still stands. The wrong people got money, yo. Like, boo-hoo, you got bullied. I was literally shoved into a locker in middle school, bro. You don't see me over here trying to take out loans so I can go look like Michael Jackson. When I was growing up as a teenager, I really struggled with the way I looked. I used to have 
very, very bad acne. I had such a big nose, my face was so round, it looked horrible. Bro, you just look like a normal human being. Sorry that you don't literally look like Keanu Reeves in 2005. Somebody really told him to shut your ugly ass up in the middle of math class because he was probably talking he wasn't supposed to, and he took that to heart. Unironically, today, had he thrown on a couple of programmer socks and uh, made a Twitter account, homeboy probably could have made a lot of money on a certain website. Whenever I was dating someone, they would always cheat on me or reject me, and I always thought that was just the way I looked, so I thought, okay, I have to change that. And the solution was to become Asian. Yeah, bro, that literally makes no sense. Like, I'm sorry you got cheated on, man. Honestly, that, that actually sucks, dude, fat L. But I don't think literally changing your entire race is gonna get you bitches. Like, this guy actually thought that going to the character customizer IRL would increase his riz. Honestly, broskies, the holes in this man's logic is actually giving me the fattest headache known to man. So I'm just gonna end the video off here. We've learned a great deal today. We have learned that Ollie London decided to become Asian because he got bullied while being white. And definitely... Asian people don't get bullied. That That's the lesson from today's video. If you're Asian, you won't get bullied. So if you're getting bullied, just switch your race, bro. It's that easy. Seriously, though, all jokes aside, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then slap a fat like on it. And if you're new, subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Also, make sure to check out the links in the description, Twitch, Twitter, Discord, blah, blah, blah. Shameless self-promoting. You guys know the drill. Also, the support on the videos recently has been absolutely insane. Uh, I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Also, if you guys have anything that you want me to talk about or make videos on or react to, anything like that, join the Discord server and just, you know, recommend me some stuff if you got videos. That's honestly the best way to be like, hey, yo, make some memes about this shit. So yeah, link to that will be in the description. Anyways, I really hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. I've been Lofi. Peace out, broskies.